Hello! Well, um, this is my second attempt at making, well, I'm not really sure what I was making when I was doing this. I was just playing around. I had some strips of wood about this long. And I thought I'd make another natural horn or simple horn, um, but then uh, I decided, well, we'll put a couple of holes in there to see if it sounds like anything. Um, so originally this was just supposed to be a simple horn, uh, but then I put the holes in uh, to create, you know, just a couple of new notes, as you heard at the beginning of this video. Um, this one is made of hickory. Uh, I think. If I were to criticize it, uh, I think I flared it out too quickly. Uh, if you look at a bugle, uh, if you were to actually unbend a bugle and uh, hold it out straight like the old one here, you know, in the old uh, 1940s or 50s movies, uh, not 50s, I'm sure, but the old, the old movies um, where they depicted Robin Hood or something like that, they would hold out those long instruments and, and play them. So I think if you were to look at those, you'll see that uh, the taper on this uh, is occurring a lot faster, which I think uh, causes me some problems. Uh, when I, the way I made this, I glued four pieces of wood together, uh, hickory, and then um, I made the mouthpiece on the lathe, and then uh, the mouthpiece is only like about that wide, just about that much, and then I just glued it right on top. And uh, I made a smaller hole for the internal diameter, but I think I made the cup way too big. Uh, so it's very hard for me to get my lips correct and plus not being a um, brass instrument player causes uh, problems in that area too. So anyways, um, oh, uh, when I glued on the uh, mouthpiece top, of course it was just the, uh, the, the truncated pyramid at the top and then the cap on top, so of course it's a butt joint uh, and very, very weak. So once it glued uh, enough, or once the glue dried enough to become, you know, somewhat solid, I mixed together um, some uh, sawdust and glue, and then just kind of um, smushed it in uh, on the sides here, and allowed that to dry for a couple of days, and then sanded it off. And then I put uh, a couple of coats of shellac on it, and then I put um, uh, polyurethane on it after that to protect it. So. Uh, that's about it. Uh, one thing I can try to do for you is uh, play the original, the, play the low note, and then play a couple higher notes, or at least one higher note. <laughs> See what I mean? I think this cup should have been much smaller, but I'm still waiting for that mouthpiece to come in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, my cheeks hurt. Uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot. Bye.